Hi guys, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. I think this is episode 7. It's been a little while again, I'm really sorry. I know I am dragging this out, I'm not meaning to. <laughs> but the good news is downstairs is finished. So I might actually have somewhere to record better than the bed. <laughs> But we got the map, yay! So let's get into it. Here it is in all its glory, the county map. Sadly, I think the sheriff would object to that until I've shown him the map. I'm not even allowed to look at it. Wow, okay, let's go. Agent Reyes. Go show it to the sheriff who will let us out. Of the town, I hope. Come on, a bit faster. Yes, I did do a little video that one person has clicked on. Can't guarantee they even watched it. Uh, I've just had a birthday. That was the video called Purple Birthday. I went to a supernatural convention. And I'm generally in a good mood because I have a kitchen at last. I can have pizza. Right, let's go. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Like I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. I have a map. I have an official map right here. Oh, I see. Mm. Well, uh, that looks uh, legit, Reno. Yes. Hmm. Odd. Does. I thought I took yeah, well, Yes. I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps <laughs> to the quickie pal. Oh dear, what a shame. Did we ruin your little plan? Part three, the arrest. I should have got to here, sorry. Never mind. I thought getting a map was a good place to stop. Here we go. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean, we can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Sure. Agreed. Cool. Identify the body. We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card <laughs> recognized around the world? Right, we have his... Uh picture we need to get his passport from his room we need a fingerprint match using the fingertron with a fingerprint from the murder weapon and an official fingerprint book but we don't know what the murder weapon is okay we need a blood match Using the blood tron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet. Well, we've got the blood from the body, and we need to get a wallet to get um, Willie's wallet. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. Yep. He's got serial killer written all over him. Couldn't it be quicker to just <laughs> shoot him? <laughs> Lovely. He's got beep written all over him. All right, and Dolores. We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely <laughs> suspicious. Sarcasm. Okay, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. <sighs> right, should we go and see Ransom first? Uh, hotel, circus, let's go there. I thought we were working together now. It's closed. Okay. Open up! Federal agents! Keep your panties on! I'm coming! Come on, Ransom. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the <laughs> sun don't shine! Excuse me, Mr. Ransom? I need to ask you about the body by the bridge. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? 
Never seen a man wearing makeup before? <laughs> Look, face. You better start talking or get out of here. I don't need another chlorophobic wet pissing his pants on my doorstep. I wonder what beat wet men. <laughs> Let me just turn around for a moment. Ah, that's a bit better. I'm sorry about that. I guess I never did get over what happened at my 10th birthday. Whatever, bozo. Does this mean you're gonna have your back to me the whole time? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> what do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. At the mansion mansion. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself, and the town folk leave me the f*** alone. Thank you. I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here, and I can't go anywhere else after my ex-wife took me for everything I had. Mm-hmm. We heard you don't get along with the locals? Given my creepy clown face and Paul Jean for abusive name-calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. <laughs> but I don't need the validation of these small-town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck? My factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? <laughs> Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. Shouldn't it be called the Edmund Mansion rather than the Mansion Mansion? How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? <laughs> Isn't it? obvious we were gonna make ransom the clown insult dolls would have been great if franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts i could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone don't go anywhere i'll be back whatever pencil neck not like i'm going anywhere but you're not <laughs> getting inside without a warrant great Tickets, 25 cents. It looks like a circus clown horn. Let's get it then. No, I don't want to pick that up. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. I'm really confused. I thought you said they weren't making them. Okay. I'm not touching that. Yeah, I'm not it's probably cursed, like ransom. <laughs> I doubt it. Okay, it's so all we can do there, I think. Hotel Mansion Mansion. Should we go down and see Dolores then? It's gonna take a while. <laughs> run, boy, run! There we go. It's like Guybrush all over again. It's like, come on, Guybrush, get a blimmy move on. Right. Oh, it's opening. That's handy. There's a speck. Hello? Hi. How can I help you? Federal agent. What do you know about the body by the river? I'm sorry. This isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Okay, not a good time. I see. I'm gonna get a speculist.
Why did you so long to get out of there? Goodness sake. Uh, trailhead. Factory. I don't think we need to go there yet. That's the town. Bridge. Oh, the bridge. Uh, where the murder took place. Um, okay, hotel it is. And again, another long walk. Edmund Hotel. That's where the mansion mansion money comes from then. You're investigating here too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? Really? That's terrible. How serious are the reports? Should I be worried? Uh, given that there's no such thing as ghosts, you'll be fine. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he mm. the body by the bridge? Nope. Nope. But this reporter's no says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing ah. him here briefly a few weeks ago. Time to be Franklin. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just got to check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Right. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. Look at the toys. Lots of different colors. All right. Disguise. Check in under the disguise and copy the prospectus. This is here. So. I go in, don't I? Because I don't think I can do anything else. <laughs> it's a familiar looking face. He's got a disguise. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. This must be making that terrible noise. And I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? <laughs> Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. Oh, what happened there? I don't know why that faded out. Sorry. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With Jason these the on, News Guy? No one knows who I am. It's a disguise. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? I think latest and greatest. What's with all the latest and greatest? Exactly. I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What about my bears? What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Hmm. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> Nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Sure you can. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. I'm sure, not. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... Um, No, Groovy 60s. Peeps is 90s. Fly... 
I think that's also 90. I think it's gnarly. That sounds 80s. I know this gnarly dude who was on MTV. Was on MTV and. Uh, no, that's definitely 2000s. Uh, that's 60s. That's. No, that's 50s, I think. That's 60s. So it must be that. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! Yep. You're legit! I am. I totally believe you know <laughs> definitely what's legit. Right now. <laughs> when you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until I then, have. I'm gonna rock out. I have oh, a teddy. Don't you just love <laughs> the want music? it? The green one will do. Definitely. Want this bear? Guess he can't hear me. Uh, goodness sake. I'll just push this button here. Hey dude, what's your damage? Have a bear. Dude, Shut up. check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Yep. Oh, sick. Sure. Ooh, what do you want to trade? Glasses. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, oh, duh. Yeah. Take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. <laughs> First, here's my used gum for your collection. Oh, uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Do you now? Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! Totally gnarly. Yeah, I couldn't remember if that was 80s. It only plays that one song, and I've already heard enough of that. Oh, okay. Cool. Pick up the glass. I don't feel like cleaning no. up after hotel guests right now. Why is there a glass there, then? Seriously, guys. Right, better use my disguise. The hotel manager is right there. He's one of Chuck's spies. Okay, I better okay. not change into my disguise while he's near. I'll go upstairs, then. Now can I use it? Yeah. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Yeah, I'm so lazy I won't walk back down the stairs. Okay, let's talk to the manager who is totally not the sheriff or the coroner. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like to check in. I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, abu, for the booking? Mm, Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer. <laughs> of course, Mr. Palmer. We have a lovely suite abu for you on the seventh floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be Abu of service? I do like Robert Palmer's music. Right. Do you photocopy? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. <laughs> that is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, Abu. Of course. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. Well, tits. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to get some paper. I think you do that in normal mode. I can't remember. Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Palmer. Good. Well, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to yep. me. How much, you ask? No. Nope. For just nineteen ninety nine, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends, Abu, back home. It's Abu. such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. Yeah, okay, that's the only reason. Right. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. 
Okay, we've got our disguise and we've checked in. So we need some paper. But let's go to our hotel room, which is 708. Seven, please. What a bop. There we go. 704, 705, so it must be this way. There it is. No, use. And seven a week. And the phone's ringing already. Hello? Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. And I still need to get a copy of my amazing prospectus. Then I can keep the original for myself and give a copy to the investors. Yeah, so uh, two things there. How did they know which room he was in when he's given a fake name? And how did they know he got there? Interesting. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. Wow. I don't want to pick that up. I don't want to do that either. I don't want that. I don't want any toilet tissue. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> Not you with that disguise on. Uh, right. Looks like the other painting. It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. It's turned off. It's turned off. It's some blank hotel stationery. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It's now showing I love my cat. I love my cat. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. It's now showing skiing for cash. It's now showing the rich and the soapy. It's now showing hospital hijinks. Hospital hijinks. I turned it off. I think there's a game called Hospital Hijinx. I might be imagining that. Groovy. It's getting dark out there now. Oh dear. Right. Open the door. Okay. Let's go up to the 10th floor. Since he told us not to. where I am for time I am getting there so oh no I did mean to do it out it's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room perfect it's an unplugged TV mm, leave that there I don't think there's anything in here except for the uh, the camera's not there. Can I get some more stationery? I don't think so. Oh, I can. How much stationery can you pick up? Do you need to go to all the rooms up here and get all the stationery? Oh, mean. Well, that is paper, I suppose. Let's do that and see if we can then get our prospectus copied and then we will call it time.
So you can't see you doing this because there's no security. I mean surveillance, so that makes sense. But I can't believe all the rooms are open. That seems a bit nuts, doesn't it? Might try going upstairs first. I don't mean stairs, but I mean in the elevator. Pick up. Yeah, all these rooms are exactly the same. Right, is that enough paper, Franklin? Right, how big your prospectus is. Keeps going past the hot spot. P. I mean, it is Franklin's hotel. Oh, Lord. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Uh, I think that's ghosts. I don't want sick floor. I'm going to see if I have enough paper. Don't walk away from me. Oh. Yes, do it. Could you use this as photocopying paper? That should be all the paper Yay. I need. What would you like to photocopy? My prospectus. This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. Oh. One task done. Now I should go to my room oh. and prepare. I have too much paper. Oh well. Um. But if he's one of the spies, I wouldn't have trusted him with my prospectus. Never mind. Seven. Right, we'll just do this bit. Uh, I think I need to do. Uh, he's at the end, isn't he? Is that in that? He keeps falling off without anything to hold it on. I'd better hold on to this until later. Ah, I see, stick it to that, okay. Um, there we go. Hmm, that's not right. It's showing the wrong room. There seems to be a little problem, Abu, with your hotel tron. There we go, sir, Abu. A photo of a different room got stuck accidentally, Abu. I'll dispose, Abu, of this for you. No need to say thank you. We're here to help. Ah, uh, do I need to, um... And if I go to sleep, I'll never no, finish my to-do list. That's not what I meant, um... I can't push that. Uh, okay, I'll think about that. But for now, I think we're going to turn off the radio. There we go. We are going to leave it there, because that is plenty of time for this episode. So thank you for watching. I will try not to leave it so long for the next one. And I will say bye. Bye, Franklin. You look fun. <laughs>